definitely keeps the sharp for the TT, you know, my priority for me is the TT and, and when I've done hundreds of laps around the Mon, I'm in pretty good bike shape and it's, it's a lot easier for me to do the TT after I've done some endurance racing. I did the World Endurance Championship in 2011 with uh, the Legends team. It seems to get older me really, you know, the, it's got older me now and it's frustrating that I've never stood on the podium. You know, I finished fifth, a few fourth places, but never stood on the podium. You know, it, it's such a challenge, you know, it's such an incredible thing and you, your body and your emotions and everything go through that much and I worked it out, 25,500 gear changes, you know, 400 litres of fuel. How the heck the motorbike keeps going? And uh, they do, they keep going and keep pounding on and uh, you know, when you cross the line of finish and I think you know, it's, yeah, it's pretty, pretty special. But the concentration levels at, at one of these uh, endurance races is definitely as high as it would be at a TT, you know, because sometimes you need eyes at the back of your head at these <laughs> endurance races, especially at night time and you know, the visibility, the conditions, the temperatures. It is unique, very special and uh, an unbelievable spectacle and you've got to try it as a rider you know I was ticking the boxes but now I want to get on the podium and we're close I'd love, to, love to do it it'd be the icing on my cake for my career yeah.